we are now going to have the release of our publications and as Mr. Thrani had mentioned, we are very proud of the fact that we have been able to put together seven publications. So one by one, we will, uh, I'll just give you a brief uh, uh, about that publication and then uh, I would request all the dignitaries on the dais to just unwrap those for that photo op. So uh, of these seven publications, two are related to research environment in India. First is the first edition of CII's publication with Nature Index which analyzes the output of our research institutes in comparison with like-sized economies globally. There are some interesting and happy surprises in that report, which I'm sure you all will be delighted to go through. It shows our premier institutes doing remarkably well in certain areas of science compared to even some developed nations. That is truly an eye-opener of sorts. I would request that this publication be given to everybody so that we can have the unwrapping of it by the dignitaries. This is the CII Nature Index report called Indian Science Ascending. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the second is the new matrix of looking at the output of our institutions, that on the basis of citations in Indian journals. I'm sure is, this is also news for many that we have such an index in our country. Today we'll be releasing the first edition of a CII report with Indian citation index. This is the CII Indian Citation Index report. Third is again the first edition of a report on India Innovation Initiative or I3. This is a national innovation competition which CII does every year in partnership with the All India Council for Technical Education and the Department of Science and Technology. This is the seventh year of this competition. The national fair will take place on 4th December, which is the day after tomorrow at IIT Delhi as part of Indian, uh, India International Science Festival. But this is the first time we are coming out with the report on five years of journey of India Innovation Initiative. Okay. The fourth is a very unique photo book uh, which provides glimpses of a very special session which CII was able to organize at Rashtrapati Bhavan recently and where 43 MOUs were exchanged between companies and heads of top central institutions of the country. Uh, this was on the occasion of visitors' annual conference. It's a photo book which is being released today. The fifth report is the second edition of a report which we started publishing with the Association of Indian Universities last year. I would request Professor Furkan Kamar, Secretary General of Association of Indian Universities to please come up on the dais for the release of the second edition of report. It's called Trends in Internationalization of Higher Education in India 2015. This year we did a short survey of universities on the issue of internationalization and this report presents an analysis of that. This is the second edition of CII AIU report. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kamar. Thank you, sir. The sixth report is the fourth edition of what is called the ASHA report. 
ASHE stands for Annual Status of Higher Education in States and Union Territories. And this report provides a snapshot of what each state and union territory is doing in the area of higher education. This report is for the third time this year in partnership with Deloitte. And it's a much sought after document now by policymakers also. Thank you. And now we come to the seventh and the last report, which is again the fourth edition of AICT CII survey of industry linked technical institutes. And immediately after the release of this report, we are going to have the award ceremony of AICT CII survey. Thank <laughs> you. 